Hello and welcome along. How are we all on this Tuesday evening? Uh, we are back for the realism experiment. We're on Ravenport. And, uh, and as you can see, our soybeans are growing rather nicely at the moment. Uh, let's say hello to everyone in chat. So hello, hello to uh, Ginger Ninja, to Jack, uh, Elwin, to JDFL Tiger, to Yvonne Fawcett, to Sean Malley, to Adam Farrell, to Milton Vieira, to Dominic Gravick, to uh, Kieran Nooney, and Nick Engel, Richard Dower, welcome along. Keegan Dennett, welcome along. Captain Simulation, welcome along. And Kieran6215, welcome along. Uh, that's everybody who's come up in my uh, restream at the moment. There we go. 15 grand in debt, Rich. Wow. Uh, I can call you Kieran. Okay, Kieran, cool. Hello, DJ6290, welcome along. So, yeah, as I said, we need to fertilize this. Uh, we know we can do it with our tractor and our... Uh, uh, actually, we could do it with our spread, but we're gonna we're gonna do it with our fertilizer spreader. I don't think it's got anything in. No, it hasn't. So we've got to fill that up. So we've got a couple of changes to make to the tractor straight off. Uh, then we then have our contracts to finish from last time. So we're gonna do that. Hello, IDK. Welcome back. So we'll get our track. So our tractor has the front loader set up on it. Oh, what it doesn't have. Hello, Simulator Gaming and Captain Simulation. Welcome along. Wait. There we go. Uh, Customise this. We want uh, to put the narrow wheels on it. There we go. Customise that. Yes. Right. Need some spinners on there. <laughs> Got new mods today? Yes, there were. I haven't downloaded them yet. Uh, the JCB looks very nice, as does... Uh, I can't remember what the other mod is today, but... I remember thinking it looked really nice. Oh, five times. Thank you for the reminder. There we go. Uh, when will Giants give the option for roads instead of plowing a road? Uh, soon. It's going to be part of the... Um, it's going to be part of the... Uh, terrain editing tool. However, I don't know if I've actually got it in here. Because I did... Oh, I did get a mod today that I found on one of the sites that allows you to build roads. So there is a mod out there on PC that allows you to build roads. I haven't activated it. I have downloaded it. So yeah, there is a mod that allows you to do that. Uh, I haven't tested it out yet. I'm going to test it out. I might have it in one of my other videos this, later this week. Uh, but yeah, there is a mod. Uh, and if there is, I think it might be the focus of a the video. There we go. Right. That's what I do. Uh, we need to get our bit out. Hello, uh, Rodrigo. Welcome along. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it was a particularly... Um, I'd love to know what the original source of it is, because where I found it was a fairly dodgy site, and I don't like using dodgy uh, mod sites. Really don't. Hey, Jonesy, welcome along. Gav8080, welcome along. Hope you're doing well, sir. Are you on console, Stephen? Ah, oh, hopefully that will be here soon. Right, let's, uh, let's go in camp this bit. There we go. Pick up our pallet port. Uh, it should be level, I think. Uh, no, nowhere near. Hello, uh, Schnutzin? I'm never sure how to pronounce your name. Louis, uh, Louis Mayer, welcome along. There we go. This has a thousand in it. Which is good. I don't think we need more than one of these bags. Hello, Farron the Farmer. Oh, Farron the Gamer, sorry. Might not get that mod. It's weird driving through the grass to get to my shed. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm looking forward to using it on here. Uh, but I want to test out first. That's why I didn't put it straight into the game. 
Oh, wow. Thank you, Thomas Burgess, for the super chat. You are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I think we need to get the toggle on. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. You are fantastic. There we go. And we can get a screenshot of us doing our, uh, doing our stuff. Hello, Soren. Welcome along. And John Uka, welcome along. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Little Legs, welcome along. Ah, the planter. Yes, I want to get that planter as well. I think that's that would be a fantastic little planter. Be really useful for us on here. Right, so let's uh, let's have a go with this. And on it goes. I think that's, yeah, that is having an effect, so that's good. Get some solid fertilizer on our crops here. screenshot while we're doing it. Can't wait for GPS. Me too. GPS would make jobs like this a lot easier. Wait, we are way off track. Yeah, we've got a little bit we're going to have to come back and sort, but that's okay. This has quite a wide reach, this. 20 pounds. Really? <coughs> that was two, wasn't it? I'm going to have to go out and check in a moment. Hello, uh, Eon the Farmer. Welcome along. Or Owen the Farmer, actually, that is, isn't it? Oh, wow. I'm missing quite a couple of big swades here. We're going to have to go back over. Oh, uh, what am I working as? This is our own field. So we're doing our own field still at the moment. We're getting this uh, done with um, some solid fertilizer first. We have to, to fertilize each stage separately. Interestingly, these big tires on this don't destroy crop. And you can see, you can just see the difference. We're all baby farmers as well. I, I, do you know what? I'm really enjoying this game as a, as a vanilla game. I am, I'm not actually really using any mods yet. I have some mods download, but I'm not, I'm not feeling the need to use them. Been hearing rumours upside down isn't going to make GPS. Uh, yeah, I've heard those rumours too. I've had heard nothing official, uh, though, Honey Badger. And let's face it, there will be people queuing up who know uh, coding stuff to get that into the game. So if he doesn't want to do it, there's going to be 101 imitations. Actually, that's not too bad. There we go. I think that's got it. Cool. So we'll just get off the field and then we will give it a check. Need a pumpkin catapult. Right, let's zoom back in. That's actually a really gorgeous shot. That. Uh, right, so let's have a look at our field. Let's see how well that's fertilised. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Take the lime off, and you can see where we're actually. We've covered that field perfectly. I'm really happy with that. Right, uh, just watch the videos. John Deere 8530, and they're a beast. Yeah. Right, we need to unload this, so uh, F1, unload, turn on, is it empty? Oh, it's empty. Oh, we managed to empty the fertilizer. That's cool. That's good. Uh, what crops in my field? We have planted soybeans this time, so we won't need to go bailing. Uh, was the idea. We've, we've had to bail every crop so far, so we're trying to do a crop that is uh, that is worth more money and that we have to do slightly less work to get the money for it. Uh, because we are doing... Uh, we're trying to do a bit more contract work and get some more money in that way. Speaking of which, we are going to have to go and get that started. 
You have, uh, I have the G29, and, uh, and yes, for me, it was very, it's very much worth the spend. All right, and we did, we dropped the, uh, we dropped it over here. Fantastic, right, how much does this have in it? Is sugarcane a profitable crop? It is a pretty profitable crop. I do want to do it. The trouble is, I'll show you this. The trouble is, and it's the same issue cotton has, is you look at sugarcane technology. It's 349,000 for that, uh, which is a lot of money for the sugarcane harvester. There is a smaller sugarcane harvester though. So we could, we could use that sugarcane harvester, which is 45. Oh, actually, we could. We might, we might have a dabble in some sugar cane uh, with our second tier, because it's a crop I haven't done very much. We are under that, so I need to be careful. Hello, Caroline Robertsman. Welcome along, Tonya M. Welcome along. My equipment is so dirty. We are, we are going to have to buy a new thing. Do I have floating bag bales in the air? I have not. I've not come across. I've seen people have floating bale issues. Uh, I have not come across a floating bale issue yet. There we go. Not like that. Now, how much did that have available? I do need to get rid of. I need a no collision camera because that is annoying. Me. Yeah, 655, I think. So we didn't use a lot of fertilizer. Hello, GD. Welcome along. Uh, right, so we are actually done with our field today. So our single field we're done with. Uh, we have 60,000 at the moment. What country am I from? I am from the UK. There we go. Right, so that is our field done. This is uh, nicely fertilized. Uh, and we can uh, we can get on with our job. So next next we're going to be doing uh, some spraying on here. And uh, we still got no weeds down this end. So there is that. I have seen the JCB uh, release today. There we go. Right. So we are cutting in with our ideal, or with the ideal that we have. Hired. And we lined ourselves up so that we could just go straight in and get this field cut. Uh, can I open a hundred fort like this? No. A, A, I don't like to copy people. Despite some of the things people say, I don't like to copy people. And B, uh, I'm not going anywhere near loot boxes. I hate them. I really, really hate loot boxes. <clears throat> we are motivation player. Always watch my videos. Like, oh, thank you, Rodrigo. I do like this idea. I like, I like, the, I love how the crops are bending out and back at the sides as well. And do I play Fortnite? I don't. Uh, partly for the aforementioned loot box thing. I don't like games with loot boxes. Not a fan of them. Wait, <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, what little legs? I am feeling better. Um, I have got a little bit of a throg in my throat this evening, and I don't have any um, throat sweets with me, so this is going to be interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm feeling a lot better than I was. I'm good, thank you, Summer Farm Estates. I'm very good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's a new week, and I'm doing stuff. Um, are we doing the same contract? Yes. So we're finishing off the contract started last time so we started this at the end of the last uh, live stream won't take us very long to finish this off uh, we'll have this done very quickly today how many likes are we up to we are up to 29 likes uh, can we get a bit higher we've got 81 in here at the moment why did people's messages get deleted i don't know uh what loot box thing so fortnite has loot boxes as i recall at least, yeah, I believe Fortnite has loot boxes. How long am I streaming for? I will be streaming until 10 o'clock, so another hour and three quarters. Uh, we're going to get a lot done tonight because this mission is going to get knocked out very quickly. 
Hello, Miguel Kiva. Welcome along. Did I forget to bring them in my shed like room? I did forget to bring them into my shed like room, Thomas Brown. Yes. I am not in the shed. Do you mean chest? Yes, basically. Anything anything that is uh, that you open and um, uh, anything you open and it gives you a random item out of it. Specifically, anything that you pay money to open and it gives you a random item. I dislike those intently. Yeah, and it has loot boxes, Honey Badger. <laughs> Fortnite, Fortnite is is a lot more popular than um, PUBG is now. How do I fix the wheel? I still can't get yours to work. Um, I will put in the Discord the fix that I uh, that I did to my wheel to get it to work. Uh, it's not completely working, I should say. It's not got a. Uh, at the moment, it still has uh, no resistance on it, and resistance comes with one point uh, one point two. But I believe 1.1.2 got uh, backed out. Uh, yes, Fortnite is free, and therefore that is that is part of my problem. Uh, is that it has that all that um, free stuff that makes you want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on it that you get in mobile games. I have school tomorrow. I will have to secretly watch me. <laughs> uh, even while watching Tom Sim this week, we cannot escape Fortnite. Indeed, I've never played it. Chess forms random items for everybody. Yeah, but you still have to pay to open them. That's that's the problem, is you have to pay to open them. Anything I don't I don't mind loot boxes. I don't mind random stuff being given away in the game if you're not having to actually pay to open that loot box. You know, and pay to keep those items. I lost resistance again on the beat out there. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for. I did. I did speak to to Lethian at the end of last week, or, or have a conversation with Lethian at the end of last week, and uh, and said that he said that they're really, you know, they're working hard to get the uh, controller issue resolved. Uh, you don't have to pay to open them in Battle Royale. I thought you did. So how does how does Fortnite make its money then, Tom the Boss? If it's free to play, and you don't have to pay to open the loot boxes, then uh, how does Fortnite make its money? Because that was that was my big belief. Oh, that's what I always thought is that that's how fun Fortnite funds itself. Which is a far more lucrative model than paying for the game. I've only ever I've only ever seen one game do loot boxes right. I haven't played World of Tanks, uh, no. But again, that that follows the uh, season passes and extras. Uh, okay. I'm still not a fan of Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, that's the thing. I thought I thought the skin stuff were randomly in loot boxes. If they're not, then then okay. But still not my kind of game, to be honest. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's kind of taking my wind out of myself a little bit. I'm not. It's still not a game I want to play. But part of the reason is. Uh, does you have to buy to save the world in order to play it? Zombie man. Okay. Thing is, I'm fine actually. I, if that's true, if it's a case of you don't have to pay to open loot boxes in Fortnite, good on them. Because if you can make a uh, if you can make a, a model these days that's a freemium, uh, a free to play version uh, that's funded by just microtransactions absolutely good on you so many games are bad like that thank you for subscribing candy welcome to the vfn need tanks on farm sim oh no thank you um yeah i i, I have a uh, yeah i have i have a hate of loot boxes as you can probably tell is it okay if you buy farming simulator 19 on steam yes <coughs> 
Farming Simulator 19 on Steam is great. I have it on Steam. If you follow the link in my description, uh, though, you help to support the channel. And the link, actually, the link in my description is now a, a direct purchase from Giants. I know, I do know what Battle Royale is, Tom the Boss. Yeah. And, and I, I, I'm first to hold my hands up and go, okay, if I've got it wrong, I've got it wrong. Because I get stuff wrong all the time. It's still not my kind of game. Um, but, uh, yeah. If I got it wrong, and if it isn't funded like that, it's absolutely fine. I, but I, my, my trouble is, I remember when games were, you buy a game and you play it, and you got hours and hours and hours of stuff out of it. Has to open... To, yeah, I'm not opening loot boxes. This channel is absolutely not about loot boxes. I second favourite person to watch. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to, to ask who is your number one, Tanya, but at the same time... <laughs> there we go. We've actually divided this field fairly well for once, uh, and we're not full yet, which is good. No loot boxes. Absolutely, Martin. I am 100% with you. And the reason why I stopped playing Star Trek Online was because the loot boxes got too much. I was going to say, there is only one game I know that has, uh, has got the loot box. Who, who I've seen get the loot box thing right. And it's a game I love called Robocraft. And the idea is basically, you have these little blocks and you build... Um, these these uh, these robots, and you go team the fours, and you fight over a, a, a map area. Really simple game, and the loot boxes work. By um, uh, you you playing, you get awarded so many, and if you play the free version of it, then you get the fir the front four, and you don't get the stuff in the in the back uh, the back four box. Um, if you, you can pay to have a gold pass, which is the normal cost of a game, and you will get all uh, all items forever, or you can pay to open X number of boxes. And that's done right. Because if you want to if you do if you want to make sure you keep all the items at all times, just play a pay a normal game price for it. What am I doing combat contracting again? And ne my next combat contracting episode is likely to be Saturday. Although I need to speak to Simulation for the Nation because I might do one before that. Um, the schedule that I put out this week, as you guys can probably already tell, uh, while the times of stuff coming out should still be right, what actually is going to come out at those times is going to change. Uh, so I'm probably, for the first time, because I don't like doing this, I'm probably going to put out a, an updated schedule for the rest of the week. Uh, because I need to rework what's in the schedule uh, because of uh, stuff. Uh, Battle Royale in Fortnite. No, no I, I wouldn't suggest it was paid to win, Tom the Boss. I have no issues. Uh, no, there are very few games that are stupid enough to go pay to win. And rarely, rarely do pay to win games get any kind of mass coverage. Uh, because they are. It's, it's then who has the most money. Um, I, I still have problems with random items coming out. So, I don't... For example, I don't like the loot boxes in... Um, oh! Now, the name of the game has escaped me. It's the other big sort of Battle Royale team game. <coughs> Which I can't remember for the life of me at the moment. Um, do you know if you can take two contracts at once? No, you can't, Ginger Ninja. You can only take one can contract at a time. How do you contact Giants uh, about your DLC through the support email? There should be a support email on the Farming Simulator website. Uh, Aaron J. Nicholson, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Um... You can also uh, you can also pop onto Giants Discord. 
and and uh, you know, uh, this is this is Lister Town is there a lot of the time, uh, and he'll be able to help you out as he is the community manager. Uh, you can also bob along to their forums and ask there because uh, he's on there all the time as well. So yeah, plenty of ways that you can uh, you can contact uh, Giants. Thank you for following loot boxes on. Oh dear lord. Thank you for the follow. Do I like the echo? I do. Um, I'm a little disappointed by its header. Uh, biggest combine in the head in the game, not the biggest header. And I've seen there's a couple of mods that have already come out that, that give this combine a bigger header. Uh, yeah, that variant is going to be massive fun on a British map. How much am I getting for this field? I think we're getting about 10,000, although we've had to hire the equipment. So, or, or at least the equipment. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to probably get about 8,000, 7, 8,000 for this job. Uh, which will be really useful to us. You know, that's going to bump us up uh, back up to 68,000 because we, uh, we ended up paying 8,000 for something last time. I can't remember what it was. Uh, where will the code for the Mahindra Gators be if you pre-ordered the game? Uh, it depends on where you pre-ordered the game from. Um, some places put it on the receipt. Uh, Amazon, I believe, was emailing it to people. Um, some had it in the box. So, uh, yeah. It, it, check all of the uh, stuff you got with it. Uh, what crop should you sow? Right, I'm going to empty this here uh, because we are uh, actually not going to make it through the stuff. Saw one of those potato harvesters on the road. It had a squat, two tractors. Yeah, those are big pieces of kit. Are there any major bugs in the game? Some people are still experiencing some fairly big bugs. Um, I'm not. I uh, the biggest issue I still have is my wheel. What days am I doing MP on? Um, yeah, I need to sort that out. I will be announcing that in the uh, uh, in the Discord. David seventy eight ten. Thank you for the uh, host. You're awesome. <coughs> and loot boxes, thank you for hosting the stream. <laughs> is the second patch worth doing? I think the second patch has been withdrawn, if I remember correctly. Right, we can take a little bit more in these trailers. So, uh, in the interest of making sure that I... Uh, I am doing the shortest number of trips. Uh, you did get lag in first person mode. You can't rotate the train. The thing, the thing with wheels, and what I've discovered is, uh, my method to get my wheel to work was basically unplug the wheel, delete the key bindings XML, uh, and then start the game so it created a new key binding XML without the wheel on it or anything like that. Uh, I then went out, I backed up that key bindings, um, uh, I plugged my wheel, only my wheel back in, uh, and then uh, restarted the game again. I went through the key bindings, I removed anything that was a binding I didn't want. So for example, there was an axis key binding on my, uh, on my walk forwards and backwards, which was what was stopping my forwards and backwards walk. And uh, and then uh, and I save that and back that up and that will work fine. And then I put my side panel on. Uh, I then redid all the key bindings for my side panel. And uh, and I basically I deleted all the key bindings out of the side panel and then redid them all. And it all worked. Uh, but make sure you back up your key bindings at every stage. So if something goes wrong, you can go backwards. Hello, Jeremy Daniels. Welcome along. The Giants released a beta patch today and it solved your wheel problems. Oh, I'm going to have to try that later, Ginger Ninja. 
Did you have to redo all your key bindings? Because I know last time they released a patch, that was one of the sides, uh, one of the downsides. Hello, Charlie Spaulding. Welcome along. There we go. I think we actually went fairly straight through that. Ah, so we're going to vote. Once we get this mission, uh, this contract finished, we will uh, we'll have a vote on the next contract you want me to do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My throat is still a bit dry. I may I may have a small break at the end of this. Just long enough for me to go and... Uh... Well, what I might do is I might put the hide... I might go and tip the... Uh... I might put the hide worker on while uh, at the end of this road. We're gonna we're gonna empty out and make sure our trailers are full. It is a lot of soybeans. This is a big field. But it's a big combine as well. Potatoes, I yeah. How often have I had to sing? I had to sing I went through um in the run up to FS nineteen the uh, the singing stopped for a while. With FS19, I've sung almost every stream. I've got away with it a couple. Uh, at the moment, we're halfway to a happy dance and a quarter of the way to a, uh, a song. We've got 113 in here with uh, 55 likes. So, uh, plenty of opportunity to make me sing and dance. Because I am your performing monkey. Uh, something's wrong because I haven't broken FS19. Wow, GD. You see, okay, if if FS19 really, really was as riddled with bugs as some people are saying, GD would find the game unplayable because he would hit all of them. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is bring this here. Turn off the thresher. Whoop. Like that, and we will fill these trailers up. <clears throat> oh, I, oh yeah, the, the potato harvesting contract got finished last stream, uh, little legs. We made uh, forty. I think we made about forty-five thousand off that in the end. The extra. Um, stuff. GD <laughs> you're letting the side down. Wait. Let's pull this forward. Wow, okay. Ah, we can we can cut some more, so good. is do that. I am going to turn off the face cam and um, mute the microphone and I will be back shortly. Once I find the face cam. There we go, that's better. So, alright, worker off. And back in we go. It is a very nice har harvester, Alan. Uh, how do you get the patch from Giants? Um, it's normally up on their website in, um, in updates. I'm surprised, I'm actually amazed at how much more we can fit in this trailer. 
it may be quite a bit hello Sylvain welcome along Maybe the problem is you're actually trying to... Yeah, that's that's a good point, Gav. GD, GD breaks stuff when he's not trying to. Oh. There we go. On Steam, it, yeah, on Steam it should update automatically. That's quite right, Charlie. They're putting the updates on the game anymore this year. Oh. So if it's 19 beta patch, go to Giants' website. There we go. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, good point, Farmer Klein. Yes, you need to go and allow beta updates on Steam in order to... Um, to get the update on Steam, because uh, otherwise it won't do that automatic update until it comes out of beta. There we go. Ah, oh, the hard worker missed a bit. Right, this might finish off our uh, our tractor and trailer. Might be able to fit some more in. I am back at the wheel, yes. Oh, I am back on the wheel, sorry, yes. I had my wheel working since. Uh, I got it working on Sunday. Ah, um, I don't know if they still do that at the moment, to be honest. Oh, there's always. Tom the boss, there's always, there's always a grumpy one who dislikes. Hello, Pro Gamer 2018. Ah, oh, this throat tree is making it a lot easier for me to talk. <laughs> I no longer have this tickle at the back of my throat. good because I like talking to you guys I like I like that about live streaming you know why I live stream and why I why I try and do this is because I like to have this interaction with you guys and it's good and I've enjoyed you know this is um so I've live streamed between my channel and Giants I have live streamed for the last uh, for 16 times out of the last 17 days You're always grumpy, Richard. Ah, oh, no. Don't be grumpy. We're all happy and joy and sunshine here. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you, Oliver Reese. Thank you for subscribing, Charlie Spaulding. Welcome to the BFM. I thought you would subscribe, Charlie. Hello, Farmer Farmer. Thank you. Hello, White Games. Welcome along. GD, <laughs> GD's the one who dislikes. Ah, we're up to 65 likes. Ouch, Matthew Murphy. I have had a tooth removed, so I feel your pain. We're going to fill this harvester up. I don't think all of this harvester is going to fit in the trailers. But we're, we're going to... We're gonna, have I looked? Have I looked out the window recently? I um, I don't know while I was out there today, and it was raining horribly. I got wet on the way home. Are there any steering wheels that don't cost over a hundred dollars? Um, you have just missed the farming uh, simulator wheel and side panel for a hundred and uh, well, it was a hundred and nine pounds. So I don't know whether that would have been similar in dollars, but it's uh, yeah. We're going to have this field finished in a minute. And then you guys are going to get to vote on what our next contract will be. Um, because we actually don't have 
anything else to do today other than uh, contracts and bring some extra uh, money in. Hello, Pyro Boy XL. Welcome along. What do I think of the game so far? I, I love the game so far, Martin. Absolutely fantastic. So, so much better. Or oh, so much of an improvement over FS17, it's unreal. And I keep seeing, I keep seeing people saying, oh, it's just FS17 with a, a uh, you know, a, a bit of a shader and a bit of a graphical improvement. It's really not. It's so much more than that. And you just have to look at the side of the fence with the new textures. I mean, that itself is amazing. We're not going to get all of this in here. Hello, Robert White. Welcome along. Have a bit of an overlap on the side. That'll be fine. We'll come back and get that in a minute. I uh, hope you mean the grain in the tank and combine, not literally through the combine onto the trailer. <laughs> the wheel issues are part of that. Yeah, and even the wheel issues. These things have workarounds, and uh, and I got a bit. I got a bit of an argument on uh, on uh, Facebook today uh, because somebody was complaining about problems with the game and I'm going look Giants is a company of 50 people they have I uh, no more than 50 people I'm not even sure it's that many and uh, they have four testers and none of these bugs were showing before launch because simulator and I can attest to none of these bugs we saw none of this while we were at Giants and they got released and it went out to thousands of people all with different setups and different ways of playing the game and all of this and uh, and then the bugs started appearing fine you've suddenly gone from four testers to essentially thousands of testers you're gonna find bugs um and yeah and i was saying it's, a, it's remarkable what giants have managed with uh with fs uh, with fs19 it really is a, a fantastic game Later, Pyrobox XL, a uh, Pyroboy XL. Uh, hey, Harry, fellows, welcome along. Well, they're not a big company, John. And the thing is, think about it. Sim and I were essentially testing for a week as well. Again, didn't find any of the bugs. It's, it's not just having more testers. You cannot, you cannot find all the bugs. It just isn't possible. And, I, and I'm actually amazed that they didn't have more. The, the number of bugs that are in the game is, is not. But as I said, Honey Badger, delaying the release makes would have made no difference to the game. We, you, how long did you delay the release for? A week? A month? There was no indication that the game was overly broken or anything like that. It was all working fantastically well. Uh, when everybody was, was testing and everything. So why wouldn't you release it if it looks like it's a working game? So, yeah. And Giants will sort the bugs out. Hey, Lancashire Farmer. Whoa, that's between the trailers. Right, we're not going to fit all of this in the trailers. We will fill the trailers up as much as we can, though. Uh, we are full. Right, where are we taking this? We're taking this over to the ranch, I think. Yeah, we are. All right, good. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the thing, Charlie. Is th this is this is not a huge number of bugs. There's a few annoying ones in there, but it's not a huge number of bugs. And not everybody. I mean, you know, not everybody is seeing the same bugs. Hello, Jacob Henry. Welcome along. Right, we need to put our beacons on. No, yeah, and and you compare you compare this to something like uh, well, the example I was using today was Fallout seventy six. Fallout seventy six is a bug riddled mess. This is not a bug riddled mess. 
This game is very, very, very playable. I tell you, you'd just like to be a paid test. Ah, I, I can see where you're coming from, John. Hey, Jack Barlow, welcome along. Hey, Mr. Red. Cool. <coughs> welcome along, uh, Tulu Q Perez. Uh, English only, please, because I don't quite understand what you've written there. that turning hey Matt F simulation welcome along right, there we go so while this is tipping we will have a look at what missions are available and we'll make a sec a first and second choice Oh, ah, we've hit sub goal. We've hit sub goal. Yay! Thank you, everybody who subscribed. You are awesome. Now, the Star Max is only. Yeah, no, the Star Max is a really, really good tractor. 110,000 110, for 180 horsepower is really decent. Can I buy a va va white belt from medium? I only have 60,000, and we're actually saving up for a, um, for a field at the moment. Right, so let's tip that one. Oh. Right, I need to I need to rebind the key. <coughs> because I need to be able to tip on my uh, on my panel. So I need to find out what I is for tipping. Here we go. Dump. So dump I should be that. So gamepad controls. We want to dump. There it is. There we go. Yes. Okay. There we are. Uh, we must be able to change the tip size. Yes. There we go. Howdy, seven Coley, welcome along. So, 48% transported. How much? So, this must be, this will take us to. Yay, there we go. So, we've actually completed the contract. We've actually got enough stuff uh, that we've completed the contract. Uh, we are going to go back and empty the combine, though. Hello, Bartley, welcome along, because we will make money off whatever is remaining in the combine. And this being soybeans, that's worth quite a bit to us. Well, I'm actually going to cut between fields 9 and 10. If I can. Note there's a railway line and a big drop. So we can't do that. Really like to see a variety of farmhouses available. As would I, John. Yeah, as would I. Um, I do know of uh, a couple of bits that are in process. I've actually forgotten to activate the mod. Uh, Steph Stefan Zah. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the BFN. Uh, yeah, I, I might actually, I might save the game after we complete this contract. And just pop out and activate a couple of mods that I've downloaded. Because I've got the tent mod. Um, and I also have... Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, GD. <coughs> I have a caravan mod. So I want to have a look at the two of those. And... Uh, and I think we want to get one. We need we need to get one. So uh, I want to see how much they are. Um, but obviously not at the expense of our field. Hey, James Dool, Welcome along. Right. Uh, yeah, we want to go in here. And cut across to our combine, which is the far side of the field. I think we can probably leave the other trailer here. While we're emptying here, we'll have a look at what other contracts are available and what we can go and do. 
Oh, trying to start side tip. Uh, no good for selling at grain store as they hit the roof. Ah, interesting. Can't wait for the next contract. Contract. Well, I, I've got contracts working. So, oh, is that the two point patch? Let's have a look. So, available contracts we got. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Cook Agri videos. Welcome to the BFN. So there's a wow, that's field eight. That will take us forever. So I'm not I'm offering that one. Uh, field three uh, has a harvesting contract. Oh, field ten has a harvesting contract. Uh, what else can we do? We want something about field thirteen. Oh, that would be a nice one. So uh, let's have a look. I fancy using that combine. So, uh, and that is field 10. Field 10 is... Which is field 10? Field 10 is that one. Okay, so that's a good size. So, uh, the choice between field 10, field 13, and I want something a little bit more variety. Let's see what we've got. Uh, yeah, field 10. Okay, we're going to go field 10 or field 13. So let me know which one. Uh, that is not full, so that's fine. Let's switch things and disconnect that. We only need to take one. Where are the windscreen wipers? I haven't had rain yet. So, oh, we got rain coming later this afternoon. So let's go back in. Field 10, field 10, field 8, we're not doing field 8. It's 10 or 13, let me know. Everybody's going field 10. Wow. Yeah, you guys really, really want me to do field 10. Okay, we are, uh, with, with, with that, uh, <laughs> with that overwhelming uh, vote of confidence, we are going to do the field 10 contract next. Do the wipers come on automatically? We're going to find out because it is going to rain at some point during this stream. We've had all those votes for field 10 and one vote for field 13. Two votes for field 13. But that is pretty, that is pretty unanimous to be honest. Everybody wants me to use the John Deere on field 10. So presuming, presuming, of course, the contract is still there by the time I tip this. Uh, we will do field 10. So the wipers come on automatically. Awesome. We'll get to see whether... It's the first time I'll have seen whether it rains in cab and in buildings. Uh, this stream as well, if we've got rain. This is actually... I do have to point out, this is the first time in two weeks of playing the game that I've actually had rain forecast. Right, so tip that. There we go. And then pop out. We made 2,000 off that, which is great. Uh, let's complete our contract. 8,000. Perfect. Right, so uh, yeah, 71,000. That's fantastic. Is there snow in the game? No. So, field 10 harvesting for 4,446. Let's lease the items. There we go. And there she is. So, uh, yeah, this is a contract with a 6M carting. Need an English map that it rain all the time. Indeed, GD, indeed. There we go. Connect that up. Ah, right. We'll just use our 6M. Am I on Twitch? I am on Twitch. Hey, Tom Thumb, welcome along. Well, every Tuesday, well, I normally every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday I stream. 
This week it's Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, it is my office Christmas party on Friday, so I cannot uh, stream on Friday, but we will be streaming on Saturday. There we go. That's that moved. We're going to take this up to the field and then come back. Uh, am I only doing contracts? Uh, at the moment I am, uh, Tom the Boss, because... Uh, we don't we only have one field. So what we're doing is we're trying to save up for a new field And if we can save up for a new field then we uh... Okay Don't start moving again train please. Okay. The harvest that harvester is beautiful. That's the uh, the reason I'm using on the let's play on um Bells running because it's beautiful. Which, if you haven't caught that uh, Let's Play yet, please go and check it out. Uh, its first episode was out Monday. Next episode is actually going to be out Thursday. It was scheduled for tomorrow. Um, but I couldn't get the uh, multiplayer with Sim out today. So that is going to come till tomorrow. That was a technical issue. The issue being that I didn't actually have Sims audio. So uh, he sent that over to me this afternoon. So I'll get that edited and up today uh, for tomorrow morning. And hopefully get uh, Friday, uh, Thursday and Sunday's videos recorded as well, which will be the let's play. Hello, Moon Town Boy. Welcome along. You're right, GD. That harvester is bootiful. There is no other Norfolk reaction to that other than bootiful. There's a bootiful harvester. 137 people watching, 85 likes. I've got my best radio DJ voice on. And can you hit that like button, guys? Let's get us to the top of the charts. <laughs> yeah. I may have gone a little bit insane. I really well, one of the missions I really want to do uh, on one of these live streams is the uh, is a grass mission because the grass missions are some of the most fantastic and mad missions that you get in this game. Right there we go. And I'm hoping we can get this done before the rain comes, but we will find out. <laughs> Sounds like I don't know what it is. I may have to go and move that train myself. Right, uh, I want to drop that off. Yeah, that's good. 50 hours in, and you've not yet had a grass mission. I've had one since I started playing the game. I've had one grass mission. I'm gonna go back to that trainer. Right, let's back to the trainer. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Like the exactly, it should that was the point. Right. So let's get our beacons on because we're driving a big combine, not the biggest combine, but a big combine down the road. And off we go. When comes the setup video, uh, Moon Town Boy. As soon as I get this absolute pigsty of an office cleaned, <coughs> which I've been saying since January. Oh, 
I'm hoping, because I'm not streaming till Saturday, I'm hoping that my voice is going to have a good long rest over the next three days. And I'm going to come back to you on Saturday. And I'm not going to be coughing every five minutes. Good evening, Wilmore16. Welcome along. I mean, this, this cold is very much on the way out, so I'm not worried about it from that point of view. The funny has uh, started to cross the railway track and the train decided to move. Yeah, that's why I, uh, that's why I, um, faxed that. Uh, am I ill? I have, I, the whole of the last half of, uh, the uh, back end of last week, I had a cold, uh, Deutsch far. Um, there were a couple of days when I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to stream at all. Uh, my voice is still, whoops, my voice is still a little bit, um, croaky. So, uh, and yeah, I still got a bit of a tickle in my throat. But, uh, as I said, hopefully, over the next few days, that will disappear. Your 1980s C64 came with a cassette. Did they let it add a CD drive? Uh, the C, uh, the cartridge thing was an early bit of the C64. I think that. I ain't that predated uh, the cassettes, if I remember rightly. Colds take longer to go as you get older. No, I just have a pair of little germ bags who very, very much like to uh, make sure that my colds stay around for longer. Will the Land Rover come to console? Uh, I would like to, but I think it's unlikely, Darren. Two more likes. Oh, two more likes for a happy dance. Fantastic. Right, let's drop the trailer off. We'll go in cab to attach this. Well, this might be interesting. Yeah, there's the trailer. Actually, it's missed the field. Didn't miss the tractor, though. Hey, Lancey boy, welcome along. Hello, Adam Farrell, welcome along. There we go. <coughs> One more like. Oh. No, we should be over. We're 106 according to BF Sings. So, uh... Oh, let's unfold the harvester. Wait for the happy dance to, uh... Update. There we go. One happy dance incoming. So we might as well do that before we start the field. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. And away we go. So a fair amount of harvesting this stream, but you guys have asked for it. I do love the um, the way the uh, the way the dust effects come off the top. Will Carbon Park Farm be coming to console? Hopefully. Uh, we are we are not 100% sure as to when CPF might happen, if it does. Um, there's no point in having that on. I don't need the straw swap. There we go. Because we can't bail this. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, CPF, we don't, we don't know what's happening with that at the moment. Bullet Bill is on a break. So, uh, yeah. We shall see where that goes. Bring the comb down a little bit. Push it forward a little bit. Pull stuff in a bit more. Yeah, 94... No, 92 more likes until I sing. Which, of course, at the moment is great with my voice. I would try to bail... It. Yes, I have. I did try that and it has It won't have any of it. It really, really will not let you bail the straw. Is the 8340 getting converted? I hope so. I have not heard anything, though, Wilmore. 
Uh, yeah, I'd love the 8340 to be included in FS19. That would be um, that would be fantastic. Uh, would make me very happy to see that tractor. Uh, that's right. there. We go. Let's get a bit further over. Going a bit close to the edge. But it's not a huge combine and it is a big field. But good to know you saved me trying. Yeah. I did want to try it. I thought it was a good thing to try. Welcome along. I'm good, thank you very much. I hope you're doing well as well. I hope you enjoy the stream. I was hoping the JCB load all and the classic DLC. Well, we don't know yet. There may be there was uh, there may be some more JCB stuff coming yet. So uh, yeah, we're not 100 percent sure. What board would I like to see personally? Uh, 70, 7610. Uh, 7610 or 7810, uh, I would very much like to see. Good fleet, see, glad to hear it. I see, it in, yeah, you need to own the BJ. It's one of the things I like about FS19 is that there's been this whole, with the, with the, the land purchasing thing, there's this, been this whole rebalancing of the crops. So there's no longer any one single crop that you go, right, if I plant this and do this, then I will, uh, uh, you know, that I can make my money quickly. There's none of that anymore, which is fantastic. Uh, it's all, it's all, re it's all really well balanced. Uh, and there's still crops that you can have less trips to the, uh, to the, the uh, sell points and things like that for. But they're, they still all produce around about the same amount of money. Uh, still out of the patch and not able to add the steering wheel stuff. Have you cleared all the key bindings of it in some of our mistakes? What's it giving you with uh, with your key bindings? Wow, we're almost full of a single round of the uh, field. Of a single headland. This must be first round. Can now mow, you can. Yeah, I saw that, Matthew. That's fantastic news as well. Although, quite why you would want to mow your crops, I'm not sure. I, I can't see a huge advantage to doing that. Because you basically just get straw. But you get straw from cutting it. So. Right, so I'm going to put hired worker on. Uh, what mods have come out? Uh, several. What, you can now wheat? Yes, you can do wheat. This is... <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is wheat. Uh... Now mow crops to straw for animals. Yes, if you don't have a combine. Yeah. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, if you um, if you have a uh, if you have animals, uh, sheep don't need straw. 
cows need straw and actually no cows are probably the only situation I can think where you create a crop and then um, uh, and then mow the crop rather than uh, harvest it pigs need uh, pig needs everything and straw and uh, and horses need straw and oats so you might as well make oats and uh, and get the straw from that so yeah there's no situation other than other than cows. There's no situation I can see where you want to, to mow crop. <clears throat> there we go. Hello, Cody Morton. Welcome along. How many cows can you hold in the large cow pasture? Hang on, let's get this going. Nice and straight. Okay. There we are. Uh, large cow pasture. Is it a large cow? Yeah, large cow pasture. Large cow pasture holds 200 cows. Marcus Caspers, welcome along. English only, please. Um, as uh, it's pretty much the only language I speak, and then only barely. So, <laughs> yeah. I need to learn some German, to be honest. I keep saying that. You could do whole crop silage. There is that as well. A few bits at the edge there. Let's lift and back in. There we go. So we're going to take... Uh, I think we're going to take at least three headlands. My crops is whole crop silage. Is mowing uh, uh, Farmer Palmer? Uh, well, because you mow it in this for, for fully made stuff and you get straws, so. Hello, CD Models. Welcome along. Hope you're doing well this evening, sir. Right. Let's. That's all right, Louis. Spin round. To reduce the speed on this. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn boy. There we go. Uh, you mow green wheat. But yeah, so you mow it when it's green, but I'm, we're talking about when it's like this, when it's fully grown. Hello, Matthew Braxton. Welcome along. Yeah, no, whole crop, whole crop green, green mowing. Oh, green whole crop, absolutely. Oh, wow. I'm looking forward to that CD. Used that on, um, is it, I think it might be the Brighton I used on uh, Gwen Park. With the Vulture. So we are. I'd play that map slightly differently when I do it again. I had there said hello to you without welcome along without. Uh, we were animals and cops. We never did whole crop. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 
good looking combine that is. Really nice. Thank you, Matthew. That is a bit, that is. That's a lovely shot of it as well. It fits perfectly in my frame like that too. Thank you, Matty. Thank you very much. Probably a drive to size when... Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly what I was thinking, Tom Club. May need to lower the reel a bit. Ah, okay. I do keep trying to adjust it so that it's in the right place. Hello, Sir Drake125. Welcome along. Fred Siddons, welcome along. How far are we? We're another 85 likes from uh, me singing. With about 45 minutes to go. We may have to go and tip this. Uh, what I might do is start the hired worker off on the other side then. So that we're not wasting any time. Uh, where's this going to? This is going. Uh, this is going to the restaurant. Okay. How long do the crops wither? I don't know. I've not actually let the crops wither yet. Um, I mission crops don't wither. I should add. Uh, right. So what we're going to do is uh, let's start this up again. Go. Super nice. I really, really love this combine. Next to the TX, I think this is my favourite combine in the game. Really is lovely bitching. And I'm actually at the stage where, you know, there are two really nice combines in the game. But I'm not too worried about what come out of mods. I'm really not, because I could use I could use this and I could use this TX and the TX almost for two years. Because they are just fantastic pieces of kit. You have a real farm and you love driving the uh, I take it that's a bolt train uh, 111. Really muscle mash is really nice. Yeah, there's a really nice little Russell mash um, starter combine as well. You're right, Annie Badger. Right, so we're going to start this off on this end. So we'll line it up. Right, and we'll set the hide work for here. We'll take this and head down to the restaurant. Sticker. Yeah, minimal wage payments. Because we don't have the uh, the hard worker doing the whole field, we'll be fine. I'm quite happy with the fact that we've got we've got up to 71,000. We need another 100,000, but we've got up to 71,000.
Hello, Nightmare Speed QB. Welcome along. I think the Giants getting the John Deere license big set. I agree, Charlie. I absolutely agree. Um, I'm really pleased to see the John Deere license in the game. Not because I'm a massive John Deere fan, but because that secures the game for a good long while. Hey, just gonna send it. Welcome along. There we go. So another 40 minutes left. Wish Carth Combines and Forages were in the game. Yeah, I think Glass will be a brand that eventually comes to the game. Um, I don't think we'll see it in FS19. Maybe FS21. Merlot would be cool. Merlot. I, I know that. I know that my brother's place sells Merlots as well as Agco stuff. So. There we go. Am I in a studio? Sort of. I've got. I, I basically have my office uh, that I have set up as a studio, pretty much. Um, I'm getting pretty good. I'm getting pretty good at having it set up uh, so that it works quite well. Hey, Rob. Uh, yeah. I need to work out where the MP server is going to be on. Actually, I don't know whether to do it on Felsbrun. Everybody's doing their multiplayer on Felsbrun. Trouble is, the other place, we could put it on here, but I think a lot of people have done this. Um, and we could put it on Estancia Lapacho, but that's where Dagwin's got his server. So, um, uh, you know, I don't quite know where exactly, which map to do my multiplayer server on at the moment. Sure, we should make a Lely Round Baylor pack. That'd be pretty cool. But I'm gonna put. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it to the vote. I'm good, thank you, Martin Leg. Right, let's go and see how our hired work is doing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the reason why I stream at 7 p.m. is because the kids are always in bed. Uh, 8 p.m. is kids are always in bed. Um, and. Uh, where and and you know, my wife knows that I'm working these uh, these couple of hours. If we're up to 71k with no debt in farming, that's awesome. We have a very little bit of debt. We have a very small amount because we did borrow some money to get one of our tools. Ravenport is more of an MP map in your opinion. Uh, I think once we get bigger machinery, uh, it won't be so bad for us in in so far as as the size of those fields i mean everything everything is one one two three six twelve thirteen um nine ten uh, and fourteen upwards are all workable fields in single player thank you martin leg for the one pound 99 super chat you are awesome thank you very very much Thank you, Tanya. I think. Could have diggers in the game next would be great. I'm not sure what they would do. Uh, yeah, there is a JCB mod out. One of the uh, big wheel loaders of JCB1 is out. Maybe when the British maps use, you can do an MP on there. Possibly, Charlie. Um, Rookery Farm, I want to do a roleplay on, I think. But we'll see how we go. Evening, Paul Cox. I'm good. Your harvester can cut first stage weeds. <laughs> Have you modded a harvester to get rid of weeds? Uh, you miss Cobra. Uh, don't we all? Don't we all? Just gonna send it. I massively miss uh, Cobra Park Farm. 
Hope the money mod comes out. Yeah, I'm not. I have no wish. I have no interest in the money mod. Um, uh, you know, the, the levels of money you start with in FS19 uh, for me are perfect. And I'm going to use all the machines because the contracting system is so great. The contracting system is so absolutely awesome that I don't worry about not being able to um, to use certain bits of equipment. Oh, that's good. Wow, he's, he's been chomping through that field while we've been all right. Yep, we will do a cut-in with him in a moment. What's my favorite inclu map including mods in FS17? Uh, Cobra. Cobra Park Farm, I love. Right, take the hide worker off. The cold quest has been converted. Really? The trouble is, uh, if it's being converted this quickly, it's not going to be good. Even Gold Crest is not going to be good. Unless Giants have converted, which they haven't. Right. And in with that. And away we go. Well, that worked out quite well. Our hired worker got a good chunk of work done. It didn't cost us that much. I think it cost us about 200-ish. Uh, we will easily cover that in what we make extra on this. Come in about Goldcrest wasn't good in 17, never mind 19. Our uh, Star Attractor's good. Uh, Star Attractor seems to be a good, cheap, high horsepower game in, uh, in F uh, sorry, Tractor in FS19. So where I'm going to really look at them, I think, going forwards. 180 horsepower Tractor uh, for 110,000 is really good. I mean, that compares to the um, Steyr. The Steyr I've got in my Let's Play series on Felsbrook. It was 118,000 for 175 horsepower. So the Steyr is less money and more horsepower. So well worth the look, I think. We might get the rest of this in this combine. Uh, does my steering wheel force feedback work? No, not at the moment. Right, just checking my watch. Checking I've not had a message. Nope. Ever seen a star or, or am, uh, am track in real life? No, I've not seen either of them in real life. Star is a very South American um, uh, brand, so I don't expect to see it in the UK. Um, track I have heard of before that. I want to JCB Teleplander as it looks. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just restarted the PC and still no joy. Uh, sorry to hear that, Summer Farm Estate. Nothing more infuriating than having a nice, expensive wheel and being unable to use. We are up to 123 likes with 123 people in here. Uh, let's have a like spike. See if we can get that a little bit higher. See how close we can get to the 200 for the singing. But a vulture is better than both. <laughs> Cheat, you have to reconcile your choice. Yeah, 
Uh, I've seen a few Belarus. Uh, we had a Belar Belarus uh, tractor or Belarus tractor on uh, on my dad's farm towards the end. Uh, I would quite like to see a uh, Belarus tractor in uh, in FS uh, in FS19, especially if I'm going to create a map on my dad's farm. I've decided that I'm not going to immediately go in and create a map on my dad's farm. Uh, there's an area that I've uh, discovered on in North Norfolk which would work really well for a map. So I'm going to create that first, I think. Ugh! Rob! No! For those who don't know why my reaction is that to Chellington, there is a copy of Chellington out at the moment, which is an absolute travesty. Uh, it's a really awful convert. It is not in any way authorized or endorsed by Oxygen David. Uh, do not touch it with a barge pole. Do not download it. Do not go anywhere near it. Especially if you respect Oxygen David's work and maps. Whereabouts in North Norfolk? <coughs> um, <coughs> Chrome away. I've seen... Uh, I've been looking on Google Maps and there's a nice area uh, sort of just, just uh, sort of south east-ish of Chroma that would work really well as a map. Um, there's also a place near um, uh, uh, Worcester that would work really well as a map as well. Uh, no, Oxygen David has no plans... Uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean that people can just take his his copyrighted stuff and convert it without his permission, Honey Badger. Because and 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 the thing is, when you look at it, uh, can I turn down the music a bit? Is it too loud? Um, the, the thing is, the person who converted it didn't have the. Uh, uh, didn't put their name on it. So they put it out there as if Oxygen David had converted it. So no. And it's up to Oxygen David whether it gets converted or not. And whether he wants somebody to have a go at converting it or anything like that. So it's, you know. Don't touch it with a barge bowl. Would be my recommendation. Uh, yes, I am. I am trying to make a map. I've been wanting to make a map since FS15. Uh, how much have we passed this up? Oh, wow, we passed this up on quite a bit. Whoa. Oh, that was a good time to hit the brakes. Uh, right, so let's up the sub goal while we're thinking about it. Let's do that. Uh, sub goal. Let's up that to. Nope. 700. 11,700 is our new sub goal. Uh, I will try and bring it to console uh, if I do get to. Um, uh, if I do get it out. Don't worry about that. I do want to bring it to console. Uh, the problem is, and uh, Giants revealed this in one of the live streams, rarely the first time map makers and mod makers get onto console. <clears throat> yeah, I know Boston, um, Tom Thumb. It's very, uh, it's quite a flat part of the world. But mind you, uh, there are some, you can still make an interesting map out of a flat, flat part of the world. <coughs> okay, I'll check out near Wells. Any particular area near Wells, um, Farmer Dan? Because, uh, yeah, I know I know Wells very well as well. These only time. Yes, keep, uh, yes, Rob. And that's the thing. It's it's time permitting. If I can if I can get my schedule down for um, for recording and stuff, I should easily have time to be able to do it. There we go. Right. So I'm going to leave the combine there for a minute. I'm not going to put the hide worker on it this time uh, because we're not far from the end. 
Boston's not far from you. Ah, okay. Hello, Sam Beaver. Welcome along. My Streamlabs link is broken. Really? Oh! Right, that should now work. So if you refresh the page, um, Charlie Spaulding, that stream links, uh, Streamlabs link should work. I left the U out of virtual. Oh, thank you, Sam Beaver. Uh, am I doing any more contracts? We'll see. We might do another contract if we have time today. Uh, I don't think there's anything to do to our own crops. Welcome back, uh, Nick. You gonna get a drink? Okay. That's fine. We'll be going for a little bit longer. We're gonna be going for another 25 minutes. We're easily gonna finish this contract. Hello, Archie uh, Kenlock. Welcome along. Glad to see you back. I think I'm gonna have to refresh my, uh, my screen because that is just struggling. Head a bit further hot way from down, round Bingham Langham, and you're on old working ground. Yeah. The link in uh, in the chat to Streamlabs is correct, though. Yeah, I'm loving the contract as well, GD. I just it opens up a whole another avenue to go. In fact. In fact, I've got time to announce in that I'll be starting a new series next week. Um, it will be on Ravenport. It'll be on this map. Uh, it is uh, It is going to be called something along the lines of the contractor or just contracts or something like that. And the whole idea, it will be another series with rules behind it. Uh, and it will be pure contracting, but not allowed to lease any equipment for a contract. So I've got to make money and I've got to build my contracting business with only machines I buy or or fully lease. You live in Binham. Oh, wow, Farmer Dan. I know that part of the world very well. Charlie Spaulding, thank you very, very much for the £15 donation. Uh, you are awesome. Unfortunately, that text is too small for me to read. So I'm going to have to go on Streamlabs to read what you put. Call it BF Contracting. No, because I don't want to make it too close to corporate contracting. Uh, which is why it's not on Felsbrunn, because obviously we're doing a contracting series on there. Cool, Nick. Yeah, excellent. Uh, what would want to go for a JCB fast track? Uh, probably the JCB, in my case. Uh, let's just go and have a look on Streamlabs and see what... I'm going to have to alter that, because that is, that is that is unreadable, that text. Are you driving my way? Are you going to... Oh, I know Briston! I do know Bristol. I nearly bought a house in Bristol, in fact. Hello, Josh. Oh, no. Ah, wrong channel. No, back. There we go. How about step aside contract? Is Giants? Uh, yes, uh, Carrigan Productions, it is, but there is no official release of Giants Editor uh, version 8 yet. It is the one that's out there came off a disc and is a bit buggy. Uh, we're expecting a new one anytime. Later, Sam Beaver. I hope you have enjoyed the stream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
It's okay. I think corporate contracting could do with a bit of tweaking. How so, Tom Fish? Because I'm always open to constructive criticism, so don't don't worry about uh, that. Alright, come on. You want the next pack? You and me both, Josh. Yeah, it works. Happy. To thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much. Josh, thank you for the host. Yeah, I need to alter the text on that. Wow. Thank you very much, Charlie. <coughs> oh, hopefully, as I said, hopefully my, uh, my cough will be clear by Saturday. Well, thank you very much, Sam. Maybe kill off the Jamie character. Yes, honey badger. Call it a local company in your area. The alert box on the stream labs work with OBS. Yes, it will, Summer Farm Estates. Uh, I started using stream labs when I had fewer subscribers than that. Heather set contact. Restream, yes. So I use Restream and I stream to both um, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. You're still sick? I'm gonna go. Okay, catch you later, uh, Nightmare uh, Speed QB. Yeah, that wouldn't be worse. Thing is, the the funny thing is, Farmer Dan, Ga Gav worked on my dad's farm. He did a whole load of contracting work on my dad's farm, which I find really, really funny and such a small world. But I don't have the mods from FS. It's slightly inaccurate. To say. It is, yeah, it is slightly inaccurate, and I understand that, Tom Bish. Uh, it really could, GD. And that's that's the thing I find amazing, is that the number of people I now have in my streams who are who are from Norfolk and is just incredible. And I think about it, and it's kind of always been that way. Norfolk contract, especially if I can... Oh, Gav, if I can get my map up, that would be fantastic. Great to mud at the central grain elevator. No idea what that's for, though. Cool, Tom Fish. Hello, Brendan4255. Welcome along. It's... <laughs> Wait. I've got... I Actually, guys, I've got a name for a Norfolk series 
which is an old, old joke about Norfolk. Which I don't, I don't know whether it would fit. It's PG, but isn't at the same time. I've done, I've spit with Norfolk accent. And see see where we get going and, and see if we're a bit around Swartham and, and, and maybe a little bit around uh, a little bit around Bintree. And I'm having a good old Norfolk time we will be. Hello, one act. Welcome along. Norfolk Farm versus the rest of the world. You've got to be the Norfolk. <laughs> You've got to be in the Norfolk crowd in order to join the farming MP. Uh, very tempting, that one is. Right, so. Good on Norfolk, guys. Is that what I really sound like? No. That is not a, that's me trying to, to do a, a Norfolk accent and failing badly. There's not enough Norfolk in my accent for me to do one properly. My Norfolk, the, the, the bit that there is does come out sometimes, but at the moment, yeah. Hello, FK23 Swift. Welcome along. Right, so we are not far from the end of this contract now. We will have this finished momentarily. Uh, and then we will go and we will do, we'll do—we'll probably do one more contract just to finish off today. Uh, probably a fairly small one. East Anglia contracting. I was, yeah, I was brought up proper like me. Lucky you've never picked up the Norfolk accent, even though you're from London. Oh, you're not late, uh, FK. The um, the stream's still going. You're only late if the stream has ended. Just told my girlfriend, a girlfriend that we're selling up and moving to Norfolk. She's giving you dirty looks. Norfolk's a beautiful part of the world, Charlie. <laughs> My first time getting... Oh, cool, Nick. Hope it all goes well. They're getting you and Dal mixed up again. <laughs> yeah, it's not on this pass so we'll probably get all of this into this combine this time which will be fantastic i wonder if we'll be uh we'll need to spray our crops again because there's a possibility our crops will come ripe overnight alan partridge is indeed from norfolk uh when i'm ending the stream the stream will not end before 10 o'clock um we will evaluate at 10 o'clock, see how much of a job we still have to do, if we're contracting or anything else, um, and then uh, we'll go from there. There must be a massively good weeding contract on Field 11 coming up. Surely. He's more Essex. Yeah. Beautiful part of the world, but further behind the times than... <laughs> oh! I don't know, Jonesy. That's debatable. <laughs> no problem, Connor. Right. So, we are coming up to Enfield. Very little left to cut. Very little coke left in my drink. 
in my glass. There we go. Right, so I'm buying. I think we're gonna probably seek out a really small spraying tub or something. Later, Nick Angle. I hope you have enjoyed the stream. got very good internet but we got color tellies <laughs> excellent later Nick right so let's go tip this and uh, you're a dairy farmer from the South Island awesome some early mornings there, I would, uh, I would guess. Streaming till ten past ten, quite possibly. Color tellies, but no signal. <laughs> That's all right. We got VHS recorders. Clouds and FS look nineteen, but it clears skies ninety percent of the time. Those are just fantastic. Uh, kids considering ending the stream a bit later. It ends too early and I'll have to play FS19 while watching my stream. Oh, thank you, Bruno. Um, unfortunately, tonight, if I don't end the stream, I don't have a video for tomorrow. I am... I am very much considering doing longer streams. Um, it does depend on a few things. Uh, one of them is actually getting a recording central that allows me to do it. Uh, the second is um, a data. So I need more data. So, you know, for me to stream later, it's always, if you can, if you can support the channel anyway, please do because it all helps to do things like stream later, stream in a higher resolution, all that kind of thing. Am I liking the new brakes on the equipment? The new brakes on the equipment are, uh, yeah, pretty good. Steve, still have a bit, oh, I don't even have a Betamax video recorder anymore. Cully Steady's our room. <laughs> we never had to run with a remote wire. With Cloudy and 90% chance of rain. Yeah, I'm actually slightly amazed we managed to get through this contract without having any rain. That does surprise me a little bit. Uh, not tried anything with the bunkers yet, Deep Outdoors. I have had a few people having issues with bunkers. Those replaceable ones or the one in the VGA? When will I be doing MP with Simulate? So, uh, the reason why the MP with Simulate didn't come out today was because I went to edit it last night and discovered that I didn't have any of his audio. So, it was a very one-sided conversation. He did send it over to me this afternoon. I've got to download it after this stream, edit it, and tomorrow will be the first video of my uh, the MP that I did with Simulate at Giants. There we go, an extra 817, which covers our stuff from the, uh, from the hired worker. So that's fantastic. Let's uh, finish off our contract. So we completed the Field 10 contract. So let's complete that. There we go. Right, so we need a little contract. Wow, that, is, that will be an awesome contract. We do need to do that at some point. Field 15, cultivating. Field 6. I want a spraying one, really. 
Now, it's all sowing and cultivating. Field 26. Field 26 isn't very far from us, is it? Field 26. Okay, we're going to go and plant field 26. Uh, we can use our own tractor for this. So we're going to accept that contract. It's not a very big contract. We already own the seeds. Hello, Shaky Shake. Welcome along. Uh, and that'll be a good, like, sort of last five minute job for us to do. Yeah, this hasn't grown another stage yet. So that's all good. Seven till ten. I can't do any earlier. Baby, uh, twins go to bed at 7 p.m. So I'm rarely if ever available at 7 p.m. And in fact, on a, on a Monday through Thursday, I don't actually get home till 7.30. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Right, we're going to go and uh, change our wheels. Bye, Charlie. Thank you for coming along and thank you for the uh, for the very generous donation. All right, so we standard and front loader attacher. Good. Uh, that's all good. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm hoping resting my voice for a few days. Is be good. Right, now I think I have, I'm hoping I have some seeds in here. We'll find out in a moment. Yes, we do. We got uh, right. What do they want planted? Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, this is the bug. So it's disappeared. The contract has disappeared. That's annoying. Field eighteen. Where's field eighteen? Oh, 18 is across the road. Right, we're going to go and do that contract instead. All right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, with barley, so we'll accept that. Oh, wow. That is a bad bug. Okay, field 25 harvesting is what we're going to do. Wow, that's a bad bug. Customize it. Uh, we'll go up to full capacity. Yep. There we go. Thank you, Louis. So this is doing a contract with your own equipment. Thank you for donating £13, Flat Out Farming. You are awesome. Thank you very, very much. That is so kind. Wow. 
Wow. Oh. Right, nothing coming down here. Beauty of this harvester is we actually don't need to take the header off most of the time. Yeah, I am missing follow me. Follow me would be nice. Yes, MP video has a lot. Hey, simulate. Welcome along. Yes. Yeah, I can't stop talking. <laughs> there was a random man in with us. Uh, oh, I... Uh, hang on. What did you write flat out? I need to sort that. Kubota is greater than John Deere. <laughs> right, is this 25 that we're going to? Yeah, 25. Right. Head this way then. Yeah, I'll try to sort out the text size on that. That needs that needs sorting. That's all right, farming man. I hope it all went well, and you managed to get yourself a copy of it. There we go. So. Yeah, this won't take us very long. It's an oak field. Uh, we have uh, turned off the swath. Don't need that. And it's just gone 10 o'clock. God, there's a little bit of glare off the uh, front here. I'm not able to see things too well. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that kind of puts an end to that. Right, there we go. That pretty much is going to be the end of the episode. What I want to find out. Hey, everybody. Look, I'm in a cab. I'm in a cab. And it's, uh, A, the windscreen wiper's going. And B, it's not raining in the cab. At all. So there we go. It's not raining in cabs. There is no rain in the cab. Look. At all. So there we go. So that that absolutely is working. Which is pretty awesome. That is that is fantastic. But definite rain outside. Sheds, I don't know because I don't own a shed, unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, I don't have a shed that I can Oh yeah, I do. There we go. So shed, let's look at the wall. No, nope, no rain in the shed either. Look. I think there might be... There's the odd drip. But uh, in general, you can see the rain falling quite a lot there. And not really at all in here. There's, there's the odd drip and things in here. But yeah, in general, that actually works really well. There's a lot more rain there. than there is there. Cool. That's awesome. Right. So, uh, there we go. That's where we're going to end it tonight as I get absolutely soaked. Uh, because we can't actually do any more. So, uh, all that remains is for me to say 
thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you uh, next time. Goodbye.